Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2018 horror comedy You Might Be the Killer. A film that stars Alison Hannigan, who you will recognise from primarily things like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the American Pie movies, and Fran Kranz, who is probably most notable within the horror community as he starred in the Cabin in the Woods film. Now then, this is a film, a horror comedy, that kind of twists the uh, slasher movie on its head a little bit. And it focuses on um, Fran Kranz's character Sam, who is head counsellor at this uh, camp for kids. Um, and he's recruited these, a lot of other counsellors uh, for the camp over the summer. And there is a crazed killer on the loose. And Alison Hannigan plays Chuck, his best friend, who we see in the film, he ends up ringing her up, panicking, explaining to Alison Hannigan there's a crazed serial killer on the loose that's killing counsels left, right and centre. And he's scared for his life. And Alison Hannigan, who works at like this geeky store, you know, with all this um, occult stuff and comics, all that kind of stuff, a geeky store. And she's really into horror and the occult and stuff. And, and she kind of talks him through it, gets him to try and figure out who the killer might be. And uh, part of the reasoning that they come up with that the killer might be a little bit closer to home than they realise. <laughs> the clues in the title guys of this film now then what did I think of you might be the killer well horror comedies are an odd thing really I think it's rare to find a horror comedy that really really works because mixing horror and comedy is quite a difficult thing to get right I think quite a lot you know they might get the horror aspects right but the comedy is not particularly good um, and vice versa sometimes the the comedy might be all right but the horror isn't interesting enough or gory enough and I think this largely succeeds on both levels it is reasonably funny without it being full of belly laughs this film However, the horror aspects of the film I thought worked particularly well. Some of the kills that you see in this uh, film are particularly brutal and what you would expect from a, a bog standard slasher really. Um, however, this, this film suffers quite badly from a little bit of predictability. Um, the reveal comes fairly quickly. I thought they were going to hold off a little bit more and keep us guessing a little bit more even though there is a huge clue in the title. Um, I thought there was going to be maybe a little bit more of a twist to it, maybe a little bit of a mystery to it, but not necessarily what you might think when you watch this film. However, um, it is crammed full of good performances, I will say. I think Frank Kranz uh, carried this film particularly well, and his performance was interesting, it was amusing at times and Alison Hannigan could play this kind of role with her eyes closed um, still and she does fine in the movie too even though she's only really on the other end of her phone for the much of this film um, so yeah it does kind of work this film if it's, it is pretty predictable and it, it does like these awkward time jumps that kind of work initially but end up getting a little bit tiresome I, 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 I will say um, I thought initially it was quite clever how they did these time jumps but they, they ended ended up treading over familiar ground and it got it got a little bit boring these time jumps that they were doing maybe, maybe it felt like they were running out of ideas maybe but I thought as um, a horror comedy I thought they did a good job of making this work and it does work as a bog standard kind of slasher film um, it is a fairly interesting idea um, it's a bit it's a bit like a, a horror film and you know the Jim Carrey film The Mask it's a little bit like that um, in in how the killer is created in this film but 
I had quite a lot of fun watching this, I'm not going to lie. Um, I sat through it all, I wasn't bored, the pacing was just right. It was amusing at times, it did make me smile a few times, giggle a few times, but it's not hilariously funny, it's not full on comedy stuff here. Uh, but I think it blends the comedy and the horror and reasonably nicely here. Uh, it does keep you interested throughout, it's just a little bit predictable. Um, and some of the characters aren't fleshed out well enough so they just become people to kill almost which you know is par for the course for films like this I suppose um, so yeah I think this is worth a watch guys if you like horror comedies and you like slasher movies um, there's good performances it's worth a watch it's funny amusing good horror elements in the film so I'm giving it a six and a half out of ten guys so I hope you found this review useful and maybe check this film out. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on Screen Stars.